Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Neha Tanija. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've come up with another PSM tip. It's about a very important uh, question basically. In this we're going to learn about interpretation of a box and whisker plot with the help of a high yielding MCQ. Actually I have two MCQs for you. Both were asked in previous year AIMS paper. So I thought I will make you understand box and whisker plot with the help of these MCQs. Before we begin, um, you can find me on these possible uh, links this is my telegram group link this is my telegram channel link you can join them for all psm updates and discussion of psm mcqs that we keep on doing regularly on my channel and group also you can find me on my instagram link and definitely on my facebook link for my lectures on unacademy sorry for my lectures on unacademy you can click on this link and for additional discount if you want on unacademy you can click on this link as you all know i'm also a mentor educator and guide for psm on unacademy platform you can go listen to my lectures on unacademy platform you just have to download the unacademy app enter neat pg put these links and you can um listen to the lectures if you want to subscribe to any course of an academy like we are offering neat pg courses fmg batch courses okay for uh, 2020 uh, fmg examinations neat pg 2021 or batch courses for 2022 you can again download the app click on the link and subscribe to an academy for any additional discount you can use my code dr neha tech okay so let us start with the tip of the day we are trying to interpret a box and whisker plot so the first question before we go to the image of a box and whisker plot and learn how to interpret it i've given you a very simple question if the first quartile is 34 how much percentage of observations will be more than this now this was asked in one of the previous jipma papers okay now first of all what do you understand by quartile Quartile simply means that you are dividing your data set into four equal parts, okay? So suppose I have a data set from say 0 to 100. So now my quartiles are going to divide this data set of 0 to 100 into four equal parts. So here how am I going to do it? By Q1, Q2 and Q3. Okay, so each of these quartiles are going to divide this data set into 25 equal parts. All right, this is the first part, which is 25, second part, which is 25, 25, and the last part, 25. So you can also say that these quartiles have divided my data set into 25% each. Okay, so look over here. Now tell me. Q1 divides this data set in what ratio? If somebody asks you, this divides the data set into 1 is to 3 ratio. Okay, Q2 divides it into exactly 50% to the right, uh, to the left and exactly 50% to the right. Okay, if I ask you, that is why since Q2 is dividing my data set exactly 50% to the right and 50% to the left, so this becomes the middle value or q2 becomes the median is it clear everybody and what does q3 do this divides my data set into a ratio of 3 is to 1 which means 75 percent is before all right is lying before 75 percent of values is lying before q3 and 25 percent of value is lying towards the right of q3 Okay, so now look over here. The question was, if the first quartile is at 34, how much percentage of observations will be more than this? You don't have to worry about this number 34. This could be 44, 54, 74, anything. We have asked you what percentage of observations will be more than this. So if the first quartile is over here, which is say at 34, okay, then how much percentage of observations will lie more than this? So you just have to see that first quartile divides my data set into a ratio of 1 is to 3 that means here is 25 percent and above q1 is how much 75 percent okay so the correct answer is 75 had i asked you um uh, uh, q2 or the second quartile divides my data set into or what percentage of observations is more than q2 then it will become 25 plus 25, 
fifty percent. How much percentage of observations is more than Q three? It will simply be Q three divides it into a ratio of three is to one. So seventy five is less than or is below Q three, and twenty five is more than Q three. So this is twenty five. Are you understanding this point? So this is the first question which I have tried to make you understand the concept of quartiles. How it is dividing my data set into four equal parts. Now. these quartiles can be represented by a statistical image what is that statistical image called a box and whisker plot let us have a look at this this is a box and whisker plot this is the image of a box and whisker plot theek okay? hai now question that was asked okay was this was asked in one of the aims paper in 2018 all right which of the following option related with the image is correct okay so does this represent a negatively skewed distribution does it represent a positively skewed dis distribution does it tell us that 75% of values are above 25 mg or does it tell us that median is 50 mg so uh, like uh, you have to tell me that which out of these following statements are correct as represented by this diagram so the first point this is a box and whisker plot when you remember that that this is a box and whisker plot you have to know this represents quartiles okay so this thing is the box okay these tails are its whiskers all right these tails are its whiskers theek okay? hai now we have to tell me that when we are saying that box and whisker plots represents quartiles that means in this box i need to have a q1 q2 q q3 so how am i going to denote them so this lower one is q1 this one middle one is q2 and this is q3 theek hai now if you drop a perpendicular line from these over here q2 and q3 so where does q2 come almost this q2 comes at 25 okay so q2 comes somewhere around 25 okay so now therefore median is it 50 mg no median is not 50 mg median is lying between 20 and 30 and when i drop a line from over here from this q2 q2 is the median jab aap isko yahan pe draw karte ho more or less this falls on 25 mg so my this option is absolutely wrong now to understand it in a better manner suppose i draw it horizontally this is my data set from 0 to 100 okay over here is say 10 over here is say 20 over here is say 30 over here is 40 over here is 50 and so on now if i draw my box and whisker plot over here what do i see that i see that my box is lying between what my box is lying between 20 and 30 like this okay and the bigger tail and the tail is bigger from 30 onwards okay so this is my q1 okay this over here in the middle is my q2 and this is my q3 okay so now again if you draw a line over here this comes at 25 so definitely my median is 25 look at option c 75% values are above 20 uh, 75% values are above uh, 25 mg can you tell me is 75% of the values above 25 mg so what is 25 mg it is q2 if you remember from the previous question q2 divides my data set if i draw it over here let's draw it here q2 divides my data set if this is 0 to 100 Q1, Q2, Q3. So Q2 each quartile divides it into equal part of 25 percent each. All right. So my Q2 is where my Q2 is the median. So this divides my data set exactly 50 percent below and 50 percent above, or 50 percent to the left and 50 percent to the right. So Q2 is at 25 milligram. So what percentage of observations lie above Q2? It is. is it 75% or is it 50% it is 50% okay so this option again is wrong because 50% values are above the median which is 25 now comes the tricky part is it negatively skewed or positively skewed students please remember whenever you have to find out about skewness you have to look at the direction of the tail 
okay so if i have a distribution like this okay if a curve goes like this this is the direction of the tail is pointing towards the right so this is a positive skewness okay for a positive skewness what happens my mean is more than median okay is more than mode okay now suppose i have another graph like this if the graph goes like this okay now where is the direction of the tail going it is going towards the left so this is negative skewness so over here again i have mean is less than median is less than mode okay and for a normal distribution graph kaise hota hai it is simply a bell shaped curve where 50% of observations um, uh, like when you drop a perpendicular in between 50% right lie to the right 50% lie to the left this is the point of coincidence where mean is equal to median is equal to mode now if you look at this question is it positively skewed or negatively skewed now if you look at this diagram look all my Datas, okay, are towards the lower side. Okay, agar aap isko, if you rotate it, okay, if you rotate it and you draw a curve like this from here, how does it go? It points like this. Okay, if you rotate it, the curve goes clockwise. Okay, that means it is pointing towards the positive side or positive skewness all right or there is one more way of understanding that in this over here most of my data is concentrated towards the lower side so my peak is towards the lower side this is say suppose 0 here is 10 here is 20 30 40 aise kar kar ke. so my peak or my maximum of my data lies towards the lower side so if i draw a peak over here it's like this and my tail goes towards the right side or a positive sided skewness okay so therefore for this particular image the correct answer is positively skewed it's not negatively skewed so how you are going to interpret it at the end just for conclusion try to rotate this box and whisker plot okay now when you rotate it you will see that your curve goes towards the right side or look at the values if these values are more towards the lower side the clustering is towards the lower side therefore the peak will be towards the lower side and when you draw the curve it will point towards the right okay so i hope you've understood this also how you can find out q1 q2 q3 from this image and how you can decide what percentage of values lie above and below a particular quartile is what i have taught you okay similar questions can come for ini ct exam happening on the 20th of november or any other entrance examinations okay so i hope you liked it if you have any question any comment put on the comment section below and do like comment and subscribe to my channel and any topic that you want to study about put on the comment section below and also like comment subscribe to an academy and access my lectures there as well for a better understanding of preventive and social medicine thank you so much for watching i'll see you all again soon